welcome back here everyone jesus loves you we have a wonderful well let me see another wonderful juicy news for you once again so without much ado please let's hop to it global money as prince philip the husband of queen elizabeth dies at 99 Nigerian presidents and other world leaders grief over the death of Prince Philip, husband of Queen Elizabeth, who dies at 99. Festus Akombi and Charles Ajua in Lagos and Deji Elumoye in Abuja. President Muhammad Buhari yesterday joined all the world leaders to condole with the British royal family over the death of Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, and husband of Queen Elizabeth II of England, who died at 99. A statement posted on the royal family's website yesterday morning said, It is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen announces the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Further announcement will be made in due course. The Royal Family joins with people around the world in mourning his loss. In accordance with tradition, a frame notice containing the news was also passed, was also placed on the railings outside Buckingham Palace. Shortly after, world leaders in a show of solidarity just led to identify with the Queen and the entire royal family in a flood of condolence messages. President Muhammad Buhari was quoted by his media assistant Gabashew as saying, The death of the Duke of Edinburgh is the end of an era. Prince Philip was one of the greatest and publicly recognizable international figures whose contributions to the Commonwealth will be remembered for generations to come. According to the president, who incidentally is in London for medical check, Prince Philip was a great man in, in, in his own right who made enormous contributions to philanthropic activities and characteristics, especially for wildlife conservation and youth development program in more than 130 countries of the world. He described the late Duke, that is Philip, as a remarkable husband who had been happily married to the Queen since 1947. Adding that this is an impressive record for any marriage at any level. President Muhammad Buhari also commiserated with the government of the United Kingdom, the members of the Commonwealth, for the sad loss of his royal and indeed global icon. Spain's king and queen telegrammed dear Aunt Lilibet to mourn the passing of dear Uncle Philip. This statement was telegrammed by Spain's queen and king. Along with tributes from Europe's royal households, many Commonwealth nations praised his exceptional public service. They paid tributes to a life of duty, purpose, and devotion to the Queen. United States President Joe Biden also sent condolences praising the Duke for his dedication to the people of the UK, the Commonwealth, and to his family as well as for his service during World War II, championing environmental efforts and inspiring young people. The telegram for, from King Philip and Queen Letizia of Spain was particularly powerful, sending all our love and affection to Auntie Lilibet, the affectionate name used by the Duke for his wife and dear uncle philip we should never forget the moments that we shared with him and the legacy of service and dedication to the crown and the united kingdom by your side they told the queen sweden's king 
Sudan's king, Carl Gustav, was also moved, saying the duke had been a great friend of our family for many years, a renation we have deeply valued. Swedish royal family spokeswoman Margareta, Margareta Thongreen told the BBC the king and the duke had sailed together in England, adding that was the start of a great friendship between them. The Dutch royal family said they remembered Prince Philip with great respect, adding he dedicated his long life to the service of the British people and to his many duties and responsibilities. And responsibilities. His lively personality, his lively personality made an indelible impression. Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison said in a statement, he embodied a generation that will never see again. He praised the Duke as the patron of dozens of organizations in Australia. The praise from New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda and then was similar to that of the Prime Minister of Australia, saying that thousands of young people have completed life-changing challenges through the Duke's Hillary Award. Canada's Prime Minister Justice Justin Trudeau said the Duke had contributed so much to the social fabric of our country and the world. He had it. Prince Philip was a man of great purpose and conviction, who was motivated by his sense of duty to others. We will fondly remember him as a pillar in the life of our queen. Why the cause of his death is not yet known, it comes soon after the longest hospital stay of his life. He was admitted to King Edward V. Wan's Hospital in central London on February 16 after feeling unwell and later had a successful procedure for a pre-existing heart condition at another London hospital, St. Bartholomew. After being discharged on March 16, the Duke returned to Windsor Castle and was said to be in good spirits. In a statement, Buckingham Palace said he was discharged following treatments for an infection and a successful procedure for a pre-existing condition. Philip spent 65 years supporting the Queen, retiring from his public crew in 2017 and staying largely out of the view since. In his active years, he helped set a new course for the monarchy, championing Britain itself, as well as environmental causes, science and technology. Philip's relationship with Princess Elizabeth began as a story of young love. We behave as though we had belonged to each other for years, Elizabeth wrote in a letter to her parents shortly after they married. Philip Hart has been slowly deteriorating for some time. He joked he could no longer stand up when he stepped down from royal engagement in May 2017. His final official public appearance was made later that year during a royal marine's Parade on the forecourt of Buckingham Palace. This is where we draw the curtain on today's wonderful juicy news. Please, if you are new here, hit the red subscribe button below to subscribe. And also, do not forget to click on the notification bell for you to be alerted of any of our newly uploaded juicy content. And also, remember that Jesus loves you. Thank you.